15th anniversary show for the Reading Improv Players. And we have Russell. Well, you tell me your name, sir, and uh, go ahead. Um, my name is Russell Pyatt. And when, what year did you join the Reading Improv Players? First year, 1998. I know you're nervous because you don't have your lines down yet, but it's okay. Tell us something, a shout out to somebody that uh, you want to say hi An to. An original you. player that may not be here. Oh, wow. Um, Dave McCormick, Renee Perry, um, uh, the best, Glenn Barrett, best host ever. Hi, Glenn. Do you have one moment in your life that, of the improv that you remember that kind of pops to your head? A short story? Uh, yeah, the night the phone uh, rang in the audience and I picked it up during the show and we took the phone out, set it down on stage and said, enjoy the show. <laughs> I'm sure they did. They came and, back. And Bill, he's my favorite. Thank you. Thanks. Want to say bye? Bye. That's good. He's such a great improv guy. <laughs> we have another improv player here, and I'll let her introduce herself. Tell us your name. My name is Samantha Fork. And how long, uh, what year did you start, or how long have you been here? I was one of the founding members. <laughs> Russell is making faces behind Lisa right now, which is really awesome. Um, <laughs> I was one of the founding members, which was 1998. I think that's what Russell says. You're both concurrent. Yes. Is there a shout out to an old uh, member that you recall that might not be here? A uh, shout out to Mr. Glenn Barrett. I love you, Glenn and Lynn. Everybody, I mean, I miss everybody. That seems harsh. I miss everybody. Uh, Eric Ertz needs to get his butt back down there as soon as he gets a chance. But, uh, yeah. Is there one moment in improv uh, show or workshops that you remember kind of pops to your head a short story? Um, well, probably. I actually have a couple, but uh, one of my favorites was right after Brian Crumb had started with us. Uh, I decided during rehearsals to be a uh, Chinese gymnast, and I fell on the concrete floor of the Old City Hall, and apparently, I'm told my head bounced three times, and I kind of passed out a little bit. And the next thing I remember was Brian down there. Okay, you need to you need to talk to me and can look at my fingers, look at my fingers. And he was doing the whole concussion thing. And um, then I was like, okay, so now I guess I have to like you. So you're in. <laughs> so so instead of uh, cracking everyone else up, you cracked your head up. Yes, that I did. Well, thank you, Sam. It's gonna be a wonderful show, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Bill. All right, here we have another improv player, and uh, I'll let him introduce himself with his full name. No. <laughs> this is Dr. No. Sean Sampson. And how long have you been in uh, the Reading Improv Players? What year? Do you remember that, or how many years? I can't count that high. I started at the uh, very early 2001. <laughs> No, I, I was done. You were over. <laughs> over. Well, you're not over. Uh, is there a shout out to someone in the past other than Glenn Barrett, which everybody <laughs> seems to keep shouting out to Glenn? Uh, David McCormick, miss you. I uh, wish you were here. I would love to do uh, the game we used to do. What game was that? Uh, it was an improv game. It was an improv game. What game did me and uh, McCormick used to do? Uh, Russell, what game did me and David Film McCormick noir? do? Film noir. Film noir. We wish you were here doing film noir. Miss you. Anyone else? Phil Noir. Thanks, Russell. I, I'd like to give a shout out to Russell. He's an <laughs> idiot. <laughs> All right. It, it, was there a, one little anecdote that you recall? Some something happened special in a workshop or in a show that of uh, the Reading Improv players that you were in? Uh, another shout out to Renee Perry. Uh, no, uh, Sam's cans not being cold is my favorite improv moment of all time. Okay, well, we're going to move on to that. I'm sure we'll get a graphic on that issue. All right, nice talking to you, Sean. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yes. Uh, this uh, <clears throat> person here, uh, I'd like, yes, <laughs> he's rather shy. He's rather shy. And would you tell us your name? Joe. Oh, I thought it was Bubba. Would you tell us your last name also? Parks. 
So that's Joe Parks. And when did you join the Improv Players? Uh, He'll come over by me so he looks this way. The lights. 2003. 2003. Oh, I, sorry, you can't. Remember. I joined the same time you did, so yeah, 2003. Yes. <laughs> uh, would you like to send a shout out to someone that uh, might have joined with you at that time, other um, than me? There was you and me, and there was another guy. I'll give a shout out to him. I don't remember his name, but he Don quit. Rollette. Don. To, uh, shout out to Don. And there was another guy that quit uh, after Don quit. Also, but he quit before Don did. He he quit. I don't remember his name. Okay. Well, we'll make sure we get a hold of that name. Okay. And he'll get in John. There you go. Is there any special uh, character that you uh, did that you created that you would like to give a little little bit of a history to? Uh. Well, I reckon that'd probably be Bubba. Uh, I done, uh, I done came up with him just uh, 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 talking like this for no reason in particular, and then uh, people seemed to to think it was funny, and I, I didn't, uh, I didn't know why they was laughing at me. So I said, uh, "All right, then, I'll keep on doing it," and uh, it kind of become a thing. And uh, now I ain't done it for quite a while, and uh, the voice kind of comes and goes, but uh, now it's kind of come back. I guess. <laughs> Maybe we'll see Bubba tonight. We'll, we'll have, All right, then. All right, is, is All right there, then. Is there one uh, moment in uh, improv history, workshops, or shows that you recall other than Bubba? Uh, probably the, I can't mention it on camera. Um, <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> it was a singing game, and I threw out an idea that was taken uh, yes. as blasphemy, uh, <laughs> literally. <laughs> And I am the first and only person to have people get up and walk out of the theater based on something that I said on stage. And uh, Just say it, Joe. Sean was there. Uh, uh, I threw out Cock a song title Jesus. called Cock Rings for Jesus and uh, through Sam, Sean, and I believe yourself. No, it was Lisa. Lisa Drayfall. He was playing guitar, I believe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And uh, so I left you guys out there, and uh, people started to get up and leave. And, uh, and we sang the song, and it was complain. Fine. And they, they, you guys did the song perfectly, and it was hilarious. <laughs> well, I think what we failed, what you failed to mention was that it was actually should have been Jesus. It was the Latino. So it, exactly. it would have been okay. I pronounced, it, I pronounced it wrong. That's Bill's right. I pronounced it wrong. <laughs> no, but he and Sean and uh, Sam and Lisa saved the whole thing. And, uh, and Father Mulcahy. Yes. Okay. Yes, and uh, I'm going to go to hell, and they're not going to. So, okay. <laughs> well, we'll see you somewhere. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Uh, man, uh, <clears throat> God, this is a nice, tall young man. There we go. <laughs> Great. All right. Uh, would you tell us your name? Brian Crum. You can look into the camera. No, I'd rather look at you. Oh, I know. <laughs> so beautiful. All right, Brian Crum. When did you join? I joined in 2008. Okay. And is there a <laughs> shout out of someone that you maybe knew? <laughs> I enjoyed watching your wife hit you in the head with a camera just then. Um, I, I would like to give a shout out to a Bland Roblin. Yes. Uh, um, a Bland Roblin taught me uh, what I needed to know to get going, and I very much miss getting to work with you. It was great fun. Is there a moment in a workshop or during a show that you recall kind of pops to your mind, a short anecdote? <laughs> oh, a short one. A yes, Brian. Um, I'm, a short one, Brian. I'm Crump. short on short anecdotes, <laughs> but I recall in my first show, you and Sean playing bartender and bringing me out, telling me I was going to sing a doo-wop song as a retired bus driver coming out of the closet and professing his love for, I believe it was breakfast cereal. And... Then you started playing a doo-wop number, and I had to start singing. I was terrified, and it was great fun. It went well. Well, we're glad you shared that with us, and we'll bring that back again and make you embarrassed yeah, again. I Thank you that. very much, Brian. Thank you. Sure. Uh, would you tell us your name, sir? Uh, Larry Solberg. And how long have you been? What year did you join Reading Improv Players? April 2001. You don't have a day? Yeah, April 4th or something? Yeah, you're so, no, everyone just says kind of a date, you know, a, a year, but April. April, yeah. And uh, uh, do you have a shout out to someone that might not be here or someone that's here? Uh, well, uh, 
Yes, um, Dave McCormick. Dave McCormick. Because okay. I always enjoyed watching him on stage and wished that I could be like one tenth as good as he was. Right. And I'm still yeah. wishing that. Yeah, don't we all? Uh, is there a, a little anecdote that you have uh, that you recall from workshops? An anecdote from workshops or something of that sort? A, a show? Uh, well, uh, one day I actually said frigging, and everybody thought I'd said a swear word. <laughs> and that was, you know, different. I think that's friggin' awesome. Thank you, Larry. Let's, uh, while we're right here, let's get this going. Uh, what is your name, sir? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I'm Brad, Brad Tilson. And how long have you been in, in uh, Reading Improv Players? Uh, maybe a year. Uh, oh, oh, uh, 1999. Nin I'm going to party like it's 1999 too, but yes, 1999. I have been in the Improv Players since 1990. Oh, I'm having an acid flashback. I knew it was going to happen right before the show. Is there a short anecdote that you have about a workshop or a show that you did that comes to mind or someone else did that you thought was clever and interesting? Who Memorable? You, who told you my anecdote was short? <laughs> well, yes. there is something that comes to mind. You know, it's rather interesting because I came in about a year and a couple of months after things got started here. Lisa Dreyfall asked me if I wanted to try out for this because she thought I was funny looking. And I didn't hear the last part of it. So I thought, sure, we could do this. And I met Sam. And long story short, which is almost impossible with me most of the time, um, I, when I came, I took a hiatus for about seven years and I came back and sure enough, Sam is still there. What is this thing? Oh! It's a oh my god, I, are you recording this? Yes. You're on candid camera. Ah, I knew you Thank looked you, a lot bro. like Alan Fun. <laughs> yes, I've lost weight. <laughs> Thank you. And Lynn, you've never looked better. <laughs> Thank you, Brad. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have another um, one of the long-running uh, improv players. What is your name, sir? David Rutherford. And how long, what year did you join the Reading Improv Players? Well, we created this thing 15 years ago, and I'm one of them that started this with Glenn Barrett and Sam and Russell and Tony and pretty much it. Yeah. Uh, would you like to uh, send a shout-out to one of those, like the last one named Tony? Uh, Tony, hey, <clears throat> wish you were here, and Glenn, we miss you. Do you have a short anecdote about uh, a workshop event or a show thing that happened that comes to mind? Well, I was involved with Sean's anecdote with the uh, cold ones and Sam, and I'm kind of proud of that one. Okay, well, we'll, we'll re rewind that and <laughs> check it out. Thank you, David. How about the right here? Uh, the, here's a young lady here. Uh, what is your name? My name is Jen Gomez. And when did you join the Reading Improv Players? Way back in 2013. Wow. Way back in September. So do you know anyone who might not be here that you'd like to send a shout out to? And if you don't, that's all right. Um, you know, I, I don't really know. Yeah, you're kind of a newbie and all. And, and are you taking to it well? Are you enjoying it? I am. It's really fun. It's a really fun experience. I'm really glad I joined. What's the most difficult thing uh, in a workshop or a show? Um, I'm always afraid that I just won't think fast enough or the moment has passed and I'll think, oh, I should have said that. And so I'm always nervous that I'll freeze up. But so far, it hasn't been too bad. Has there been one moment uh, since you've been in workshops or the shows that uh, stands out as like an anecdote, interesting or embarrassing anecdote? Or? Um, no, not really, not yet. Nothing's, uh, it's all been pretty tame and mild, but I'm really looking forward to having some. So you haven't made an embarrassing situation yet? Well, maybe tonight is the night. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. There's another uh, young man here, which I go way back with him, KRBG days. And uh, what is your name, sir? Chris Gomez. And when did you join Reading Improv Players? I want to say it was 2009. I think it was like early 2009. So it's been going on five years. Ooh. Yeah, which is nice. <laughs> Anybody that's not here that you uh, want to send a shout out to? Um, I think I mimic uh, Brian Saint Bland. I remember, yeah. yeah, just that guy could do voices. Like, you know, tomorrow, but, uh, yeah. Is there is there any one moment in a workshop or a show that you recall as being uh, noteworthy to put on tape? <laughs> There's, you know, there's a lot of different things, that, not one in particular. I think my funniest memory, though, is the fact that David Rutherford has the nickname Lumpy, 
and for about a year and a half, I was too scared to ask what that was, what that meant. And I was like, it was like, it's Lumpy, and I'm like, I still call him David Rutherford or David to this day. I still just can't get around. I'm like, it's finally one of these days. I'm like, what's Lumpy? And they're like, oh yeah, I remember that Leave It to Beaver character. I'm like, I was afraid to ask that. <laughs> so well, now we know where Lumpy came from. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. All right. Before you do another interview. Everybody! Yeah! Woo! Everyone, they are putting chairs in the aisles because we have oversold. Yeah. Yeah. We're awesome! I always knew we were sellouts. <laughs> hey, do you guys still cube up? Huh? Do you still cube up? Yes. Yeah. I definitely want to get that okay. on camera. Okay, let's get this gentleman here. Well, tonight it's going to be sugar packing. All right, here we have another gentleman in rating improv players. Tell us which is your name. Uh, my name is Kevin Shoemaker. And what year did you join? 2010. Is there someone who you'd like to send, a, or someone not here that you'd like to send a shout out to? Uh, I can't remember her last name, but Jeanette, you were our piano player when I was around, and I miss you. So Jeanette you Kyle. Come. Jeanette Kyle, thank you. I thought it was Purvis for some reason. Jeanette Kyle, you should come and join us again. Well, I sent her an email, hoping she would, but she's out of town this week, but uh, I'm sure she'll see this. Is there any uh, unique event or a workshop that happened in the show, a memory? Uh, did you recall? Uh, well, there's a lot of laughs that, that I have sort of helped to make, uh, but uh, I think the, the single best and funniest moment that I can recall happening at a workshop happened with uh, Joe Parks over there, who, he was uh, floundering in a game that was about guessing and it involved students, and uh, he really did not know how to, to guess the answer, so at one point he just broke out and, uh, am I allowed to swear? Yeah. Okay. He said, uh, well, I don't know, are they supposed to be broke-ass motherfuckers? And he was referencing these students, and I just almost fell out of my chair laughing hysterically. It was the funniest thing I've ever heard. That could be quite hysterical. We may have to bleep that, but I'm glad we got the truth thing going. I, I, I can give something else if you prefer. We'll bleep it on Facebook, but we'll bleep it, it for, for Facebook. the DVD. All right. This is, this is real life here. Thank you, Kevin. Not a problem. And this young lady? I'm sorry, what's your the name? question? Oh, Evie. And last name? Evie Cameron. And how long have you been? What year did you join the Improv Player? I've only been in for two years. Two years. Oh, yeah. That could be a lifetime. That's someone's <laughs> nightmare. They couldn't it? Uh, what is your most uh, <laughs> fond memory since you've been here? What's something that you really like or embarrassing memory? Uh, you know, let's see. Um, uh, honestly, I don't have a specific memory that stands out. Uh, I enjoy the workshops a lot because we don't have to be so careful with what we say, uh, as you know, Bill. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, probably, the, probably the workshops are my favorite part. I don't have a specific memory to share, though. Okay. Is there any one thing about it in Broad that you'd like? What brought you to Ready? I was just talking to Sean. I told him that I joined so that I could make friends. And I have. Yeah. Funny friends too. Funny goofy and friends, and I knew that no, I knew that no matter what was wrong with me, they'd accept me. So that's, and it worked. <laughs> it does work. Thank you. Thanks, Phil. Hi. Okay, would you tell us your name? I'm Dasha Lindberg. And how long have you been in the Reading Improv Players? I'm the newbie. It's been so. a month. A month. So we have four, four workshops. Yes, exactly. And I've never seen them perform before. So Isn't that tonight interesting? will be interesting. Uh, do you have any memories of uh, these last four workshops? Something that stands out as a memorable moment in your life? Um, I I was uh, stuck in an elevator with uh, Sean, I think, and he was like, oh no, I have to pee. And I was like, you can pee on me. And that's how I made my mark. <laughs> I hope it wasn't on the floor. <laughs> oh, it was. <laughs> Thank you, Dasha. Thank you. Let's get Adrienne. There's a young lady here. Hey. Would you tell us your name? Adrienne Courier. And Brian Crump. And Brian Crump. Yes, she's a two-headed person. Uh, would you tell, when did you join? What year? Um, right before the fifth five-year anniversary. <laughs> Eight, ten years ago. Oh, ten years. Ago. 
so that would have been... That's 2003. Yeah. Okay. So that's, about the time. <laughs> that's about the time Don and I and you joined. I think we all did about the same time, 2003. Yeah, I think so. Uh, is there something, is there some memorable moment uh, in the workshops or shows that you recall? Uh, that Joe was the funniest person she ever met in her entire life. <laughs> I love that, man. Um, you know, everybody is so unique in improv. There are so many different personalities that it's hard to pick one thing. A bland. Need I say more? A bland. A bland. Roblin, remember him? He's amazing. Yeah comedic talent um, and uh, and frog frog don't, don't remember frog and frog yeah. We'll have to search the archives on Anne Frog. Ask Lisa. Okay. Ask Lisa Drake yes. all about that one. Okay, I will. Well, thank you. Thank you, Adrian. Thank you, Bill. I wanted to mention Keith Fletcher because he was here. He was here for a short time, remember? Oh. I'm Keith Fletcher! Yeah. And then Canon Knapp, who we yes. sent him an invitation to this show, hoping that he'll make it to the 20th. <laughs> <laughs> and Scott Warner. You're yes, our Scott brother. Warner. Uh, Bill. Bill. Jousting. One L. Oh, yeah. Bill, Bill Woodford. 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 Yeah. Bill Woodford. Yeah. Jamie Anyone else? Vandiver. Jamie Vandiver. He's right up there. Right Get up that there. picture and up there on the wall. People keep telling me. I, it's I don't the guy remember. on the right. The guy on the right. It's because you. Maybe, maybe he touched me inappropriately. I don't remember. Sean's head is in the way. Oh, maybe he sorry. touched me inappropriately. I don't remember this Jamie Vandiver. Keep moving, Brian. You're in the way. That's yes, correct. I, hey. I've got some kind of a blackout. Yes. Uh, we have another person here we had, have not um, interviewed. Anywhere, Tell us your yeah. name. <laughs> My name is right, Ben Van Sickle, and I've been avoiding you the whole night. <laughs> it happens a lot to me. Uh, when did you join? Uh, I was part of the original group with uh, Samantha Fork and Chris Farrell and uh, Glenn and Ted and I don't know who else was there. Russell. Russell was there, yeah. Okay. And is, there, is there a moment? In, in, is there a in, is there a moment, the improv, that you recall real quick before we do the sugar? Uh, yes, I had to pretend I was Michael Jackson and I failed miserably. And I, I think that's the point I realized I wasn't that funny. Yeah. So I just come back every once in a while to, and everyone remembers that I was a part of this. Well, we all have that feeling that we're not funny, but it's being in the moment is the thing I found. Listen, we are going now, Ben, as, as you know. Do the uh, the magical sugar? We always do some kind of a, a toast at the beginning for good luck. So uh, we need to get the sugar. Somewhere where I can get a good. Get up there. You want to get up there? You want to lean on me? I know. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a, a, a tradition that I don't know how it started. Perhaps Sandals. How did this tradition start? Very first night of. Actually, here. Okay. Hey guys. Woo! For for the record, the very first night that we did an improv show here, October 1998, we were all kind of needing energy, and Mr. John Washburn found a box of old, nasty sugar cubes and said, here, eat this. <laughs> and we all took a sugar cube, and since that night, every before every performance, we have to cube up. For a long time it was cubes. Then we moved to packets, and then we moved to things that actually taste good. <laughs> I think Owsley started all this back in the 60s with the Grateful Dead, did he yeah. not? Prob probably. They all little right. pictures on them. Yeah. Everybody all right, so we are now going to do the toast. All right, everybody got their honorary cues. Yeah. Woo. All right, everybody. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. 15 years. We're going to go out there, and we're going to get Bing. some Everybody stick your tongue out now at the camera. Uh, that's what I remember about it. <laughs> so we're doing what again tonight? <laughs> the sound of music. Yeah. Go to the light. Okay. I found my light. So, um, 
Ro okay, rolling? We're, we're rolling. Okay, and here we have another of the wonderful uh, Reading Improv Players. What is your name? My name's Lisa Drayfall. And when did you join Reading Improv Players? Uh, 15 years ago, right after their very first show. I saw it and thought, I want to do that. It looks so much fun. And I have been part of Reading Improv ever since. That's great. Can we keep it down just a second? Uh, okay, can you, is there a shout out to someone that, uh, that wasn't here tonight or anything that you'd like to say hello to someone? Well, I just, I just want to say that I'm so proud of Reading Improv. It is, it's so hard to keep a group together for 15 years and we are so much like family and it's, you know, the best therapy that, you know, you get to do for free every Monday night in rehearsal and we have the most loyal fans. I mean, for 15 years, people have been coming every month, every, the third Saturday of every month to Old City Hall for 15 years. And, and seriously, you can't, you can't beat that, you know? And, and just a small group of people who wanted to, something creative to do when they were in between shows or, and then as we've grown and we've got, I mean, I got married during a Reading Improv show. Like this is like my, for the last 15 years, it really has been my family. That's a great story. How about, is there any memories that you have? Something that might have happened in a workshop or in a show that is memorable to you? Well, I think getting married was <laughs> was the most memorable, and it was you know Sam Fork who has you know helped found the group. She is legally um, can officiate a marriage. She officiated my marriage. We had a show where we invited my husband to come to workshops for a month so he got to be in the show. We themed it around relationships and then I walked up with my children and my family in the audience and got married on stage and it was just a beautiful one-of-a-kind wedding and it was completely free, which was awesome. Wow. Wow, that's that's great. Uh, who gets married at an improv show? <laughs> Me. I got married at an improv show. They said story. it as a joke one day. They're like, you should just get married here at the show. And I thought, okay. <laughs> and we did. And so that is my, one of my greatest memories. And just that, you know, the, the fans are so supportive and, and the group is so, they're, you know, some of my very best friends. And I've just been so blessed to be a part of it. Well... We were one, it's always been wonderful watching watching you work, and you're funny as hell. Oh, That's all. What you. can I say? And you're always in the moment. Always in the moment. As is your friend here, right? Your little sidekick. Oh, Tushy! I'm gonna miss you so much, Hot Ronda. I know you will, Tushy. <laughs> You've been everything for me. And this woman right here. You know, she really helped me learn my Minnesota accent. And so, oh, you know, now that I'm we've moving... We've worked on it for years. And hey, now that I'm moving, I'm going to fit right here's in. Here's a question. I know you've been videotaping a lot, but can we sing a song? Yes, I have oh my three gosh. minutes left on this tape. I could change the tape. How long... You ladies are next. <laughs> okay, what song do you want to sing? Our song. Okay. We won't have backup, but... You ready? Okay, yes. Mama, you know I hate to admit that I am wrong, but he won't take the garbage out or mow the fucking lawn. He said he'd get a job last week, but there is fat acids with his beer. And Oreos, he's starting to grow mantis. Mama, he's lazy, lazy SOB, and living in this trailer park is where we'll always be. I've never been so wrong. He's no sugar daddy, mama, he's lazy, a lazy SOB. And mama, when we first met, he said his pockets would run deep, but oh no, now I know. He's sucking the money out of me. He says he'll be a 
big rock star. It makes me wanna scream. I'd kick his ass out of the house if I could get him away from the TV. Mama, he's lazy. A lazy SOB. And living in this trailer park is where I'll always be. I've never been so wrong. He's no sugar daddy. Mama, he's lazy. A lazy SOB. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Right to the end. We got you to the end. Nice. All right. Well, it's still rolling. Oh, thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Well, we didn't do the. Whoa, whoa, mama, he's lazy. A lazy ass. And that's the Reading Improv Players' 15-year anniversary show here at the, the Riverfront Playhouse. We hope you enjoyed the show. <laughs>